Well, he's known in the military as the terrorist whisperer. The Iraqi man saved dozens of Americans by working as a spy during the Iraqi war. He now lives in Johnston County and in the coming months will release a documentary. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy sat down with him and has more on why he decided to share his story. Growing up under Saddam Hussein's regime, every day was a struggle to survive. At just 12 years old, Hamidi Jassim was thrown in prison. I was there in what it looked like uh, an animal cages, staying in there inside in the dark and being treated as an enemy of the state. The true story was is I refused to give my money to a corrupt police officer. At the age of 17, he joined the Iraqi military. He worked as a command sergeant major for the Iraqi Ministry of Defense. It was his job to protect the Americans that came in and out of that building. In 2005, he was approached by the United States with a more dangerous job offer. I would lie if I say I wasn't afraid. A fear, it was part of the game. Jassim accepted and went undercover, sniffing out the terrorists posing as Iraqi and Afghani soldiers. If there was any opportunity for them through that time to attack an American or kidnap an American, who would be in that building. For four years, Jassim never stepped outside the Iraqi Ministry of Defense. He never saw or spoke to his family. In 2005, I foiled a, a kidnapping attempt. The year after, I stopped a suicide built that was about to kill about 15 Americans. Jassim now lives in Johnston County with his wife and kids. His documentary called The Terrorist Whisperer is being shown to law enforcement and military around the country. My heart is with them and anybody that's deploying overseas getting in that plane. I want to make sure they're equipped and ready. His documentary will be released to the public later on this year. In Johnston County, Kelly Kennedy, CBS 17 News.